Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is solving absolute value equations. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at uh, mrmathblog.com. All right, and then I have the answers to the last uh, section, so I'm going to just let you, if you need to, pause it. That's the answers to the last section. It said solve by graphing, so you solve this side and graph this absolute value, and then you, uh, you graph this side. This was your y sub 2, so here's uh, y sub 2 equals 5, and then the solution is what the x values where the, the two lines intersect, okay, where the absolute value intersects that horizontal right there. All right, so again, the same with that one, the same with this one. This one was no solution. It was because um, the absolute value was up here, and then the horizontal line after you uh, graphed uh, the right side, here's y equals this side right here, 2. And uh, they don't intersect, so no solutions. And then um, uh, here's the answers to 5, 6, 7, and 8. So if you were in my class, uh, those would be your answers. And pause that if you need to, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. Whoops. Uh, so here we go. Uh, let's solve uh, the absolute value equations algebraically and then graph the solutions on a number line. Here's the first one. Okay, so here we're going to go minus 4, minus 4. Okay, I'll just talk our way. I don't need to point all the time. Okay, now we divide by negative 2. All right, now whenever you have an absolute value equals a number, then you say it equals the, the, it, the stuff inside the absolute value equals plus or minus that number. So here's the plus, here's the minus right here, okay? And then so we're going to subtract 5. Since these are in terms of halves, I changed 5 to 10 halves. You can see that down here, 5 equals 10 halves. So subtract 10 halves on both sides. So 3 minus 10 is negative 7. Negative 3 minus 10 is negative 13. So we get negative, or negative 7 halves and negative 13 halves. And for graphing purposes, this is negative 3 and a half. That's negative 6 and a half. So there they are being graphed right there, okay? All right, number 2. Okay, here we're going to go minus 3, minus 3, and we get an absolute value of blah, blah, blah equals negative 1. Whenever you have an absolute value, uh, it always talks about distance from 0. From distance from 0, if whether it's a negative number or a positive number, the absolute value is always going to be a positive. Okay, so here we have this absolute value equaling a negative number right there. That's going to tell us no solution. We can never have an absolute value equaling a negative number. And that would be where this V-shape absolute absolute value graph would not intersect that graph right there. This V would be above that graph, okay, just like uh, the answer before we did. Okay, so here's another one here. So isolate the absolute values in the following equation to determine if they can be solved. And if so, find and graph the solutions. And if not, write no solution. Okay, so plus 3 plus 3, okay? And then multiply by the reciprocal 5 thirds, okay? And then, so the, the absolute value equals zero. So you can say plus or minus zero. Well, that's just the same as zero right there. So this is, it has one solution. So the vertex intersects that uh, line in one spot right there. So when you solve, we get x equals two. Okay. So here we're going to go minus 2, minus 2, divide by negative 5. All of a sudden we got an absolute value equals a negative number. No solution. Okay. All right. Uh, here we're going to go plus 2, plus 2, and then we're going to divide by 7. Now we do plus or minus 1, okay? I think I slid that up. Oh, I changed them to improper fractions right there, and then I slid that up right there, okay? Now we're going to subtract uh, 7 halves on both sides, and then multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the 1 half and the 5 halves and the 9 halves, so we get uh, negative 5 or negative 9, okay? All right, so here we have, uh, it says solve and state the math properties used. Okay, so here, notice these guys are the same uh, absolute values, x minus 3. So what we're going to do is uh, take this uh, quantity right here, and we're going to subtract it and put it over on that side right there. Okay, so that's called a subtraction property. Okay, see that? Now we'll just combine like terms. Your book likes to say distributive property. Same as combining like terms right there. Okay, so this we have this absolute value. We have three of them. Here we have negative five of them. So we pulled the three and the negative five out. So this is going to be negative two of those absolute values. And now we divide both sides by negative two. And then now it equals the plus or minus five halves. And then just add three to both sides. I'll change three to six halves to get common denominators. Okay, so here we are, 3 equals 6 halves, so uh, we add 6 halves to 5 halves and get 11 halves. Whoops, I made a mistake. So add 6 halves to um, uh, the negative 5 halves. Let me change that real quick. And so we get uh, a positive 1 half, not a negative 1 half. That's a positive 1 half, okay? All right. 
All right, so here's an absolute value that's nested inside another absolute value. Let's go ahead and solve, okay? All right, so here, well, let's just deal with this big absolute value equals 10. So we're going to say it equals plus or minus 10 right there, okay? Now we'll add 5 to both sides, okay? And then here we have an absolute value equals a negative number. This one's no solution, but this one we're going to make it equal to plus or minus 15 right there, okay? All right, so um, uh, let's do the plus or minus 15. And then, uh, so now we can say, um, uh, we can subtract 3 on both sides, and then divide by 2. And then, so it asked, uh, state how many solutions there are. This one has two solutions, okay? Just two solutions right there. All right, you guys, if you're in my class, that would be your homework assignment, and there's some answers there for you. Take care.